uh, Rayshon Davis was, if you rewind, let's rewind one week, Kyle, one week. Ohio State was out, according to literally everyone who I read and talk to. Done. Over. He was going to USC. Period. Done. Over. Then we got news breaking late last week that said he and his parents are coming to Columbus on their own dime to visit. Um, probably not coincidentally, it's also the same weekend that the early enrollees are moving into Columbus. What does all of this mean? Well, even with the visit, I was still feeling a little pessimistic only because I had just been hearing for weeks from people I trust that it was done over. It's uh, no, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. But <laughs> the tide is apparently turned on that. And I'm not saying he's coming to Ohio State. I'm not saying he's coming to Ohio State. But we went from 0% to maybe about 10% once we heard that he was coming. And now we're maybe more at 50. Maybe slightly above 50. Maybe 55, 60. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying, hey guys, he's coming to Ohio State. Not, not going to say it. But it's, uh, it's a lot of momentum. It's a lot of momentum. So feeling cautiously optimistic on, on Rajon Davis. Um, there, I'm going to have to eat some crap on Twitter because I, I basically said, hey, guys, it's not happening. Get over it. So. By the way, and, and so even if he doesn't come to Ohio State, I'll still admit that I'm wrong. So that's it. I'm admitting I was wrong. We predicted the 2022 roster, which was ridiculous, or excuse me, the 2022 recruiting class, which is ridiculous still. Um, we gave, do you want to give a final prediction on Rajon Davis? We gave a final prediction on JTT, on Tui Molau. Do you want to give a final prediction on Davis? Hmm. I'm going to go yes. And, I, and again, I said he's maybe slightly above 50% at this point. So I say I, I, he's I, I, slightly above fifty percent. Therefore, I'm going to go yes. I'm I'm going to go I'm going to go no. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go no be, just because of things that I've been reading and all that regarding to his family and all that. So I'm I'm going to lean no. He stated in an interview. Thank you, Country Buckeye. I I, I like I'm glad you like the show. Um. He stated in an interview with Buckeye Grove that his parents told him the decision is up to him. That's it. And that, that was enough to push me from 50% to 55. <laughs> All right. All right.